The buyers BBC are facing an existential crisis as more Brits have recently decided to cancel their TV license. What a beautiful day and week, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the lamestream media, the dinosaurs of the so-called legacy media, the BBC. Um, they are shooting themselves in the foot with all these recent scandals and crises. They don't even know how to manage the whole ship at this point. Um, now, we already reported that they've been also sending around uh, redundancy letters to some of the big names. And they are claiming that this is just a routine. We do it every year. Well, that's just not a normal organization. But okay, fair enough. You try to save money in your budget. I wonder why you're trying to save money. Oh, is it because it's just not viable anymore? Is it because the TV licensing concept as a whole is so outdated with the rise of new media channels like mine and youtube and everything else that we have at the same time the people are not really watching tv at the same time your uh, the, the the culture that the bbc and the likes of the bbc have created over the last few years not just the bias but actual misinformation and the spin people are waking up they are realizing what you've been doing and with more access to information recent days then we can see the true face of these people. Now, the establishment media sites aside, m millions of Brits have decided to, over the last few years, to cancel the license fee, and it's great. And it kind of slowed down for a little bit, but over the last few years, we've actually seen a massive escalation. So we've got some data, according to the actual TV licensing website itself. This is BBC numbers, by the way. So it starts from the ap April 2021, and it goes till March 2022. So over a course of a year, um, the, the first column you can see, well, the second one is cancellations. On a monthly basis, they're having 69,000, 62,000 another month, 75,000 cancellations, 80,000, 76,000. Every single month, they are getting close to 100,000 people so cancelling their license fee every single month. And then on the, the right-hand side, you can see the BBC revenue reduction. That's absolutely fascinating. In average, it's about 11,000 uh, 11 million pounds, sorry, 11 million pounds that they are uh, losing out every single month. That is a huge number. And considering how massive the BBC budget used to be in the past and the massive cost of production, the building, the staff, the free iPads and everything else they've been doing, the free taxi rides, they are now absolutely struggling. And as you can see, the last... Uh, the, the last three months on the on this table, January, February, March, this is the latest data that we have, obviously. Uh, the number is actually escalated. Uh, it, it, went, it went above 70,000 again, 73,000, 70,000, and 74,000. And in terms of the actual revenue reduction, it also went up to almost 12, 12 million pounds. It is absolutely crazy. At the same time, these guys do not learn because they still live in the analog world. They don't understand because they're so out of touch in their bubble, they are, they are very confused why are the British public are turning their back against the, uh, the BBC. Because the arrogance of them, they, they don't actually understand it. By the way, to clarify, because the BBC released, they gave us a statement um, on their website, they actually say, those numbers that we mentioned, they are actual active cancellations. So that doesn't apply to those uh, license fee payers whose accounts just get expired. And don't pay it or don't renew anymore that's not even included in that number the number will be much higher the bbc said these stats relate to licenses in force where the license has been cancelled by tv licensing as a result of a payment failure for example cancellation of direct debits and by customers themselves so absolutely fascinating the numbers i gave you are much higher than what you see on the screen because they are just including those who are proactively cancelling their direct debits. Now, a huge chunk of people are waiting for the license fee to get expired, and then they don't renew anymore. So those numbers are not even included in that table. Absolutely brilliant. So <laughs> we are winning, ladies and gentlemen, slowly but surely. As I said, they have their own problems. They've been sending out these letters of uh, voluntary redundancies to some of the big names, including Hugh Edwards, who is part of the furniture of the BBC. And they've been saying, well, this is just the um, standard HR exercise and we do it on a regular basis. Um, but again, 
this is not really a good defense line because that just shows how disorganized the whole outlet is that you know they think they have to uh, focus on budget management and budget cuts on a regular basis i wonder why is it because you're losing your revenue every single month and is in millions millions of pounds is brilliant so the bbc changed course last week on its proposed cuts to its english orchestra uh, after pressure from musicians and their public and politicians it also reversed its decision to scrap the bbc singers chamber choir which would have resulted in the loss of 20 posts the corporation has announced the deep cuts in its local radio and world service output uh, that will result in the loss of hundreds of jobs. Now, the issue with the BBC is that uh, this country has been so slow when it comes to progress and moving to the new century when it comes to new media and alternative media that because everything's been a closed protectionist racket, the bubble of the uh, establishment media, these guys, they got nowhere to go. They don't know what to do with their lives. You know, unless ITV or Channel 4 decide to hire them, but they can't hire all of them, we don't really have um, enough portfolio. We did not diversify the media portfolio in this country. We only recently just had uh, two new channels being created, GB News and Talk TV. And Talk TV was already part of Talk Radio, and which is Rupert Murdoch's Empire News UK. So it's not even new media. And GB News are obviously founded by the old mainstream media guys anyway. So they're all still mainstream media. <laughs> it hasn't really changed anything. And But the, the rise of new media movement, like this channel and many others, left, right, center, independent, don't really care, that's good. And it's basically making these people freak out because they don't know how to upgrade their system of in terms of the brain, the way they see the world and media, media culture in our country. Now, this is the latest update for you guys. We're going to come back in half an hour. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.